In this video, we're going to take a look at some of the details of our project. We need to be able to construct a wall parapet that follows a path. And so in this video, we're going to go over the steps that we need to take for that. So the first thing that we're going to do here is we're going to come in and we're going to create the reference path that we need in order to lay out our sketch for the, for the sweep. At the end of architectural, let's go down and select our reference plane. Now I'm just going to create one along this E space where we're going to have that entry sequence that we're now trying to model the top of that wall. And then I'm going to make sure that we just come out and rename this so that we do have a name. I'm going to name that. This is just my East wall profile. And click apply for that. All right. So now let's go to our East elevation and here in our East elevation. Now let's begin to just draw some model lines. So still out on an architectural tab, we're going to use our model lines and we're actually going to select this reference plane that we created. Then I'm just going to begin to draw these model lines. So I'm going to start down here at the edge of the wall and I'm just going to try to mimic what we see on our elevation. I know that we have a profile that looks similar to this. We kind of come somewhere right outside of our F column line. Then there's a little bit of a jog and about one more. Now the next thing, because I know that the, the top of our wall here is kind of centered in here, I'm just going to draw a couple model lines that help me to find where our center line point is. And then I'm going to create one more lot model line and let's just snap to the middle here. So when my triangle comes up, now we have the center line here. That gives us a point to finish drawing our model line to. And if you refer to the elevations, you'll see the shape that we are, that we're looking to create here. And I'm just going to modify this a little bit before I mirror it to the other side. I think that looks pretty good. Like I said, we're going to take a more of a representational approach to our project rather than making this model something that's field verified, which we cannot do in this short of amount of time. So now I'm just going to select this half of the wall profile that we've created so far. And let's just go ahead and come up here and mirror it about that little axis that we gave ourselves. All right, that gives us a profile to use as a path. So now we have that. So now I'm going to go back to our 3D view. And you'll see because we drew it in the work plan, it's right along that path that we created. The next thing I want us to do is very important. From the architectural tab, we're going to come to component. And this is where we're going to model in place. In Revit, as you start to experience some things that become a little bit more difficult to model you'll come you'll become a lot more familiar with this model in place tool and it allows us to actually assign a category that it will match the properties as far as visibility and so forth to begin with so we're going to make sure that this is assigned to the wall since it is a wall profile that's going to set the parapet top I'm gonna to click OK here and I could just give this a name you know this will be the east wall parapet and I'm going to click OK for that. Now once we're inside that model in place tool, you'll see that we have an environment that looks very similar to what we've been using with the conceptual massing early on, as well as the family editor. And we're going to use a sweep here. So I'm just going to cl click on my sweep. And we'll come out and we can sketch path or we can actually pick the path. So we, we can actually just go ahead and, and pick the path here. And then I'm just going to begin to select the path that we've previously drawn in our model lines. So there we have it. That's pretty much the path. Let's go ahead and click OK for that. Now we need to select the profile. 
we'll click on our drop down and because we want to use the pair of the pair pit profile that we already have in this project we'll just go ahead and use what's here this pair pit cap precast 16 inch wide actually we can go with the 20 inch I think that that'll give us a little bit of depth to our elevation and now when you look when I zoom in closely you'll see that this profile is actually rotated about the wrong angle but up here in our options bar we're able to just begin to make modifications so I'm going to go 90 degrees and click apply there just to see that I'm just going to begin to I want to select this profile and make sure that we move it about the axis so let's go ahead and move our profile a few inches playing around with this to get your profile to move in the proper direction based on the way it was inserted so now we have a profile here and I can also take this profile and I can come in here and just begin to move right out about to the edge of this wall actually a little bit past it let's just do that now you can see our profile is kind of sitting on the wall waiting to be swept along the path that we've given it already so let's just go ahead and click OK for this now you'll see Revit has gone ahead and created that parapet but we do need to make sure that we modify the wall to the path that we've created with the model lines as well right now we have a void in this area but the parapet is complete so I'm gonna go ahead and click finish here let's go back to our east elevation one more time and we're just gonna select this wall edit profile and now we can begin to make sure we have the wall in place so we're going to just select these model lines once again for ourselves and then I'm gonna come in here and I want to use modify with our split element and we'll just break the line that was continuous boundary for our wall prior to now and then let's just trim this in place so that our wall profile does continue to remain a closed loop that's going to be important not to get an error here on Revit so now you can see we have a wall profile that is still complete it's just been modified and we'll click OK here and now you'll see we have the profile that representationally depicts what we have on the east elevation of our building I hope this video has been helpful for you as you'll need to use profiles for several of the walls to get the graphic representation that you're looking for